welcome to the word for today may the peace of our lord jesus christ be with you bethsaida is a city on the north shore of the sea of galilee the home of peter andrew and philip jesus takes the disciples there to have some private time with them this is most likely a deserted area in the vicinity of bethsaida the crowds encroached the private time of the disciples and jesus yet he welcomed them and spoke to them of the kingdom of god and he cured those who needed healing this twofold statement of jesus proclamation of the kingdom of god and healing is precisely what jesus sent the apostles to do their mission the day began to wear away and the twelve came and said to him send the multitude away that they may go into the surrounding villages and farms and lodge and get food for they are here in a deserted place the apostles do what any competent co-workers would do for their leader they assess the situation identify a problem before it becomes a crisis and recommend a solution including women and children the crowd could easily be 10000 people philip says that they have in their stock only 200 denarii worth of bread the situation is very critical people need food and water and a crowd of this size needs lot of both the disciples are concerned for the crowds but they are also concerned for jesus a crowd can quickly become a mob if not managed properly even if things don't go that far the goodwill that jesus has generated will disappear if the crowd goes away hungry the disciples are also concerned for themselves in a crisis jesus will want them to do something and they can't imagine what they can do but the disciples of forgotten the miracles that jesus has so recently worked the coming of a story the healing of a demoniac the raising from the dead a young girl and the healing of a woman while none of these were abundance miracles like the great catch of fish or the wine at the cana wedding feast it doesn't take much imagination to realize that a man who could work these miracles could also feed a great crowd but he said to them you give them something to eat they said we have no more than five loaves and two fish unless we should go and buy food for all these people for there were about 5000 men probably there were more than 10000 people including women and children christ takes our contribution however modest and makes it enough disciples were to rely on the hospitality of the people whom they would serve on their mission having just returned from that mission they have not had an opportunity to replenish their food supply after the miracle has taken place the question could be asked who fed these people the answer of course is that god fed them however jesus challenges the disciples to give the people something to eat thus making them his partners in the miracle the obedience of the disciples was important to this miracle just as our obedience is important to the kingdom today christ takes our contribution however modest 
and makes it enough the words of christ you give them something to eat continues to challenge the christians today we live in a world full of hungry people and pray that jesus might do something he responds you give them something to eat the church has often risen to the challenge providing food clothing shelter and medical care to the people in the far corners of the world the disciples said we have no more than five loaves and two fish the disciples emphasize not what they have but what they haven't they see not possibilities but problems their assessment is right we are always tempted to believe as the disciples did that we are nothing to offer in the face of overwhelming need millions of people are hungry and we have nothing to offer except a small box of canned goods millions of people are infected with the aids virus and we have nothing to offer except a few dollars millions of people lose their homes and livelihood to war or natural disaster and we have nothing to offer except prayers and a few blankets we argue and say the government should help bureaucrats and tyrants often siphon off much of the government aid leaving little for the people who need help political parties do everything to get voted to power another side of the problem is spiritual in whom do we really trust where do we believe power really lies the crowd is arranged in manageable groups of 50 he took the five loaves and two fish and looking up to the sky he blessed them and broke them and gave them to the disciples to set before the multitude they ate and were all filled they gathered up 12 baskets of broken pieces that were left over there is no mention of wonderment on the part of the crowd perhaps they are unaware that a miracle has taken place nor is there any mention of wonderment on the part of the disciples and they do not know that jesus has somehow multiplied the the bit of food that they brought to him the verbs taking blessed broke and gave are similar to those used at the last supper they are also similar to the verbs used in the emmaus road story jesus is still feeding us in the eucharist let us open our eyes and proclaim the risen jesus in our midst god bless you all